Hi there and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use TESOL online with AI chat GPT GPT that I created for this course. Notice uh, what you're asked to do here. You're asked to use this prompt and the prompt is how can I use each of the tools described above for my students and I'm going to be very specific about who my students are. And then I'm going to ask for examples of activities. So let me click on the prompt and get all the information that I need here. So first of all is the prompt. Okay, so I'll copy the prompt and then I'll go into TESOL online with AI GPT. Click on that and here it comes. Going to add the prompt for um, adult uh, learners. Uh, let's make them adult beginners, beginners, okay, which is always difficult, right? So uh, let me put that. Then I'm going to go back into the course, and this time I'm going to simply copy all of this, okay? These are the tools that I want ChatGPT to relate to. So here we are. Um, so how can I use each of these tools for dollar? Okay, and then I'm, I'm also interested in uh, give some examples of activities. So let me add that. Give with examples of activities. Okay, and then I'll add all the tools. And here we go. And here it comes really fast, right? So um, here are the tools and example of activities. And for this one, for some reason, I need to regenerate this. Uh, and this could happen, of course. So make sure that you do not give up and that you simply try again. I'm using uh, ChatGPT 4.0, which is completely free. Now, if you want links, okay, um, you could ask for the links. Of course, um, add the links full links. Okay, I always want full links, not hyperlinked words of each of the tools and add them to a table and add the information, all the information to a table. I always like tables. I prefer it that way. So here's the table and I can take a look and compare. Notice the URL is in full. Sometimes uh, if you don't ask for it in full, in full the default is uh, to hyperlink words and they don't always come out when you click on them. So now we have a table. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to uh, copy the table. Okay, it's a long table, but that's okay. There we are. Copy the table. And then I'm going to go back into the course, okay, add a discussion topic and then add my input, okay, here. And then simply paste it, okay, and there it is. Next, I'm going to go into, let me just click on the table. Let's see if I can do that. There it is. The table is at the bottom now. I'm going to go into table properties and I'm going to add a border of one. And then, uh, did it catch everything? I'm not sure if it caught everything. It should have. Yes, it did. Right. Next, I'm going to post to forum. And there is the information. Okay, let me open it up. And you can see it. There we are. And that's a nice, neat way of sharing it. So please do the same. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to the input that you get from TESOL online with AI.